So in my big girl job, another thing I talk about factually um, that I bring up, especially for my low to moderate income folks, is food deserts. Uh, and this is simply educational. We're going to talk about North Carolina because that's the state that I live in. According to the 2019 USDA designations, approximately 16% of North Carolina's 2195 census tracts were food deserts, ranking the state as the 16th worst in the United States for this metric. Over 1.6 million North Carolinians live in a food desert. So there lies the question, Alyssa, what is a food desert? <clears throat> the definition is a track in which at least 100 households are located more than one half mile from the nearest supermarket and have no vehicle access or at least 500 people or 33 percent of a population live more than 20 miles from the nearest supermarket regardless of vehicle availability so what this means whether it be rural or uh, like a more metropolitan area the city is that either people lack the transportation to get to a grocery store where they can get healthy, equitable food, <clears throat> or they uh, there's not one close to them. And here's the thing. We live in a capitalist society to where if a grocery store is not going to make money or a Walmart, then they're not going to open a store there. So it's important, especially for low to moderate income area people, that they advocate for themselves within their communities, opening up small mom and pop corner markets that have fresh fruit, have fresh vegetables. Maybe they grow their own. They have a community CSA that will accept EBT or SNAP benefits. Um, yeah, so that's just another fact. You guys be blessed.